All right, welcome to the Lawrence County Sportsman's Association Sporting Clays course. Uh, once you become a member and you actually purchase your targets, you can pre-purchase your targets to shoot sporting clays, pretty much any time the sun's up, you can come out and have access to the clays course. Uh, what you'll have access to is there are 20 stations out here with four traps on every station, so you'll have 80 different target presentations to shoot at at any given time. Um, the way that the course is set up is that we have the four traps that are labeled A, B, C, and D. The A and B traps are fairly easy. The C target's a little bit harder, and then the D target is basically D is for difficult. It's a tournament guy, like you know, a registered sporting clay shooter, separator target mostly. Um, so that way you have anybody that's a, from a beginner up to an advanced sporting clay shooter will have that variety of targets that they can shoot at. Once you have your target card, which is one of these, You'll have to come up into each station. On each station, we have our pendant for the station, and then we have the target card reader. And the way the system works is once you get here, say you're shooting with somebody, um, when you get to the station, you're gonna push the A button one time and wake it up. The system will wake up. Once it's awake, you can insert your target card. And when you do that, you insert your card. Now this is if you're shooting with somebody, as soon as you push a button, A, B, C, or D, it's going to launch that target. So if you push the A button, the A target's going to fly, B, so on and so forth. If you're shooting with somebody and you would like to, to mimic a true pair, the way a true pair works is you're going to have to use the doubles button. You'll hit the doubles button one time. Once you hit the doubles, you'll pick the first target of the pair you want. Say you want an A, B, true pair, hit the A button. And then when you push the B button, when the shooter says pull, when you push the B, it's going to launch A and B. Okay? And you have to do that every time if you want to mimic a true pair. Doubles, first target. When you push the second target, that's when it's going to launch the two targets. Um, basically, other than that, if you're doing a report pair, you know, shooter says pull, push the first target, then choose the second target. And you can choose anything you dream of with A, B, C, or D on those targets. Okay? Now, if you're going to be doing a solo shooter and you're shooting by yourself, before you put your target card in, you have to set your delays. If you're gonna set the delays to do that, you're gonna use the A and B button. Press the A button one time to wake it up. Then you're gonna use the B button. As you push the B button, it's gonna add seconds for your first delay. And it'll go anywhere from zero to six seconds. And you can go up. If you're going up, and you decide it's too much, you bring, push the A button, it decreases the amount of seconds on the delay. So you set your first delay. I usually normally set it around three seconds. Now if you're shooting a report pair, you need a second delay to have the delay between the first target and the second target. To do that, you'll hit the C button one time. That's telling it you're going to set the second delay. Then you use the B button again to increase your seconds. Say we want to go up to two seconds, you'll hit the B button twice and you'll have a three second initial delay and then a two second second delay. Once you've done that, then you insert your target card. Insert the target card and you're good to go. But in doing that, when you're by yourself, you'll always use the doubles button. You're gonna hit the doubles even though you're throwing a report pair. You'll hit the doubles button. You'll say choose first target. So you want A, B, hit the A. And then when you hit the B, it's gonna start counting down. It'll count down three seconds if you watch the screen. It'll launch the A and B targets. Okay? So, now, if you take the card out, it takes the delays away. So if you find out you have a delay set too long or too little, if you take the card out, it'll clear it. And if you put it back, the card back in, it'll go back to that instant launch again. So you'd have to set the delays the second time. If you're going to mimic a true pair, you need to set just one delay. And to do that, you use the B button. You'll set your initial delay up to say like three seconds. Then you're ready to go. Sit, insert your target card. Once you do that, again, you're gonna press the doubles button. Hit the doubles button. Choose your first target of the true pair, which maybe say what A, B. Hit the A. Whenever you push the B, it's gonna count down three seconds and it'll launch both targets. So that's how you set the delay on the long range target system. In order to accommodate uh, members 
needing to buy clay targets other than on Sundays at the club. We installed this kiosk from Long Range uh, last, last fall and what it allows clay target shooters, whether trap, skeet, or sporting clays, as long as you have a countdown card, you can add targets to your card at any time. All you have to do is walk up to the kiosk, lay your card on the reader, make sure you keep it on the reader. If it falls off, uh, it'll interrupt the transaction. And we see our name come up, the number of targets we have on the card, and how many do we want to add. I can type in, in this case, 200 targets, press the Add to Card button, and an immediately a swipe card screen comes up. I take my credit card with the band facing me, swipe, hit Pay Now, and as it processes the payment, I've just put 200 targets on my card. All right, for those of you that have uh, now bought a Sporting Clays card, we have uh, an opportunity for you to use carts during off-hour use of the club. Um, to do that, there's a simple cart rental agreement. You read through it. It's a $20 activation fee for, the, for that to turn your card on, your membership card to access the building. Once you do that, it's $20 per rental to rent the carts. And then to do that, when you first get here, come in the door to the clubhouse here that your key card will access. Come inside of the kitchen and you'll find the envelopes laying here on the table. Grab the envelope, on the envelope, put your name, date, time, and then the $20 for the cart rental goes in the envelope, and then put the envelope in the lockbox on the floor. Once you've done that, you're good to go outside and access the golf cart building. All right, once you've paid for your cart, come on out and get your membership card. The membership card will hold it by the reader. The reader operates the garage door. The garage door is gonna go up after you swipe. Once the garage door goes up, go in and access your cart. You have three minutes. Basically, the three minutes is the time you come out of the building, the door will close in three minutes. So after you access, if you try to go back in to shut the building or shut the door, if you swipe your cart again, it's just gonna add another three minutes. Or every time you walk in out the door and trip the safety sensor, it's gonna add another three minutes. So basically, just go in, get your cart, come out, and the door will close three minutes later by itself. And then when you're all done, we'll bring the carts back in. We want to back the cart into the building, put it back and forward, and shut the key off. If you come in to get access to the cart and the cart won't start, it might be in the neutral position. If the cart is in the neutral position, you have to put it in forward to make the cart run. The green carts, in the wintertime when it's cold, you will have to choke the carts. The choke button for the green cart is on your left side by your left leg and then on the white carts the choke button is by the forward reverse lever on your right leg. 